What is going on, you guys? Kevin from Nerdizzle here. Uh, finally, an updated video of how to make a Minecraft recipe. This will go towards 1.8.1. I am not sure about 1.9 or anything above that. I am honestly not sure. Maybe it'll work. If not, I'll update the video ASAP. Sorry I didn't update this that quickly. I just never got to it. Anyways, um, let's start off with what we need. Uh, again, we what we need from for to uh, okay so what we need for this uh, thing for minecraft coders pack is you're gonna need eclipse which is this thing right here eclipse you're gonna need minecraft coders pack and you're gonna need java developers kit which i'll put all of those in the description for you guys just because i'm the best commentator in the world no i'm joking um Anyways, so first you're going to want to open up Minecraft Coders Pack and just see what you got here. And then you're going to want to go to, well after, sorry, before all of this you remember when you, I asked you to put a path variable? Yeah, you're going to want to go to, whoops, no. Okay, you're going to want to go to prop, oh my god, this computer hates me. You're going to want to go to computer, then you're going to want to go to properties advanced system settings and then you're going to want to go to environment var variables you're going to want to go here and then look for path once you find path you're going to want to post in the java script i put here well I, i'm going that i put in the description and then once you put that you put okay then you hit okay then you hit okay blah 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 then once you have java installed you can begin um once you've installed minecraft codes pack installed java developers kit correctly and put the path variable and installed Eclipse correctly, you're going to want to start up Minecraft Codes Pack. Then remember when last video when I asked you to put your jars in here? Yeah, you're gonna want to put your bin and your resources. Don't put any else anything else will already be in here. These things would already be in here. So you're just gonna wanna copy your bin and your resources folder from your dot minecraft. Um into your jar section of your Minecraft Coders Pack. And then once you have that done, you are going to want to type in, or not type in, you're going to want to click decompile. Alright, this takes quite a bit, so I'll just pause the video and then I'll unpause once I am done this. See you then. Alright, guys, I'm back. I'm pretty sure it started, yeah, it started recording. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, before I ended the, before I paused the video, uh, I just typed in, or I clicked decompile, and then all this happened, so, yeah. Press anything to continue, blah blah blah. And now you're going to, after you've de decompiled it, you're going to want to open up Eclipse. And once you've opened up Eclipse, you go, you obviously, yeah, you just open it up. Wait for it to load. Oh, by the way, when you're downloading it, click the first one, which is for Java. Yeah. And here, you're going to want to click Browse. And the workspace, you're going to want to make it go to your wherever your Minecraft Codes Pack folder is located. You click your Minecraft Codes Pack, and you look for Eclipse, and you just put it there. You hit OK. And it should be right there. Don't use this as default unless you don't really want to code. If you want to code elsewhere, you don't use it as your default, it doesn't really matter. So now you click OK, and now we wait for this to load. So what, what recipe we're going to be making here is going to be a really simple one. No mod loader needed, no nothing, it's just basics. You, like I'm not really making anything, I'm just going to make it. So let's just call it the diamond recipe, it's the same thing as the last video. Um, just a simple thing it's not really anything big all right so we wait for this to load because see it's like laggy right now refreshing workspace all right let's just go with it's done yep now it's done all right so you click on client wow what the fuck just happened okay now you click on client you click source. I don't know why it's being really laggy right now. Then you click 
the bottom one, which is net.minecraft.source. Then you should have a giant ass list of whatever all of these like files that you've never heard of. If it loads and doesn't crash on me. So specific, Kevin. Yeah. Then all of this file of a lot of files you don't know. I know. By the way, this is Bobby. Uh. Then you're gonna want to scroll down until you see Crafting Manager. If I can, yeah, Crafting Manager Java. You you're gonna want to open that up, or just double click it. Sorry, don't do that. And then you are going to want to scroll down, not all the way, but until when you start when you see that. Okay, so now you're going to want to you're going to want to uh, <laughs> you're going to want to click or copy this. It doesn't matter which one you copy as long as you copy one of them. Uh, then you press enter twice, no, three times, and you paste it here. And make sure from here it's one, two, three, four spaces from that one. And you're going to want to basically this is saying address speed new item stack item bed. So it's saying with all of these you are going to make one bed. So for our mod we are going to make one diamond. Or well, not one diamond, we're gonna make sixty-four diamond because we're a boss. And what these are are basically the number signs character value of the number signs or the pound signs are block cloth so it's going to take three cloths in the top row because this is top this is middle and if we had one more here it'd be bottom so we are going to put three three things Wait, Kevin, what are you using the tour for C++, C++ plus or java no you have to use a uh, java all right, so you're going to want to click, or right, you're going to want to have these, and then this is the top, this is the middle. So character value of pound is block dot wood. Make sure you have the items correctly. If you don't know them, you're going to want to go to, you're going to want to scroll up and look for blocks, like block snow, block soul sand, blah blah blah. And for items, you, you don't want to do the same thing, but just item, dot, whatever. Anyway, so, the pound sign is block wood. Character value of x equals block, or actually, we're going to make this block plank so it's easier. No. Mm, no. New cubes are now overpowered again. <laughs> so, you're going to want to make this block, well, you don't have to. I'm going to make this block dirt. So we are going to have three wooden planks at the top, and we're going to have three dirt blocks at the at in the middle. And once you have that, you are going to want to save, then close Eclipse. Let's see how we're doing for time. Ah, oh, not bad. Um, now you're going to want to go back to your <coughs> Minecraft Coders pack, and just recompile once you and then again I'll pause and then I'll unpause alright guys I'm back uh, don't worry when it says could not find server sources because we are not making a server mod fuck you okay <laughs> now once you have once you've recompiled it you are going to click start client and this will start the game if it does. Alright. Now when it does that, we are going to want to go to single player, create a new world. Building terrain. Yeah. Okay, this will be really laggy because for one, Camtasia is really laggy with Minecraft at the moment. And two, I have a lot of things open. Yeah, it's really laggy.
Okay, um, I will pause and unpause once I have the materials needed. So, yeah, be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. Sorry about the lag. Okay, so anyways, I believe we had planks at the top, and then we had dirt at the bot in the middle. Voila, 64 diamond. Go show off, go do whatever you want. This is the basics to the mod. Again, all you made was 64 diamond just by making a recipe. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do what the f whatever the fuck you want. I really don't care. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Sorry about that, guys. I derped. Um, you do not end it right there. You, once you verify that your recipe works, you are going to want to quit the game. Af like after you recompile it, you're gonna want to pause, quit the game, and then you are going to want to click reobfuscate. Then you, yeah, you just run that. It basically makes your mod into an actual mod. Because right now it's you don't really have it as a file. You just have it in your Minecraft Codes pack. Reobfuscating basically makes it so it's like you can actually put it into your. Basically, let's just call it publishing. You can basically publish it to the world, and you can put it in your Minecraft and use it in your actual Minecraft. Huh? You don't say. Yeah. And now uh, we wait. I, need a foot I don't really have that much recording time left, so I'll just pause it right here. Be right back. Okay, uh, the moment I clicked pause, uh, it finished. So, anyways, it's gonna say this. Do not worry about server because server is a piece of shit. We're not making a server mod. Unless you want me to. I don't know, comment. And then we open up the reobf re folder. Re Minecraft. And see this class? That is your mod right here. This is your mod. Get your number. Have fun with your mod. You can publish it. You can put it in your Minecraft. As long as you know how to use a mod. I'm pretty sure everyone here does. Anyways, so this is your mod that gives you 64 diamond. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with your new recipes. Don't worry. I'll make a series about coding in Minecraft soon. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, peace.